Sí, This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Got a point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, you're planning on killing me. At least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head! I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. One more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Cindy made it sound like Dylan was some sort of rebellion leader. It doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother.
saw Doc back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derwin's. No time for drinks now, brother. Derwin's office is just a short boat ride away. Just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Scald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? So, we're going to Derlin's? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. Darlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. I think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get? You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, got it, got it. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the ace here. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name and uh, yeah. for fucking up my desk. A fine. Play it at your leisure. Okay. Get out of my office. Hey there. 
So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Venus? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. <laughs> Sort of. Uh, you smell them? It seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tear. Everyone helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Go! Like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven <clears throat> train ride. Heimdall, 
There's a name I don't miss hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Durlin! He didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Durlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. A true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Seems like we're here. Come on. This way. You can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding here is our best protection. Seems like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Whoa! Is that a Drekki? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if. Address! killed the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there! I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just here to fight? I think it's ours too. War is not the only way. Wow, this thing is 
small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Keep going. We're so close, just a little to the left. That's way too far. Namir, tell him left. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two. Here we go. <laughs> the Kraken Hatchling gave you a stone. Oh, uh, Deaner. Yeah, covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sinfrey when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, uh -oh. show to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it... Poison 
your back! So, quite the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from The you. word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were going to die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Leading to the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. Behind you, brother!
whetstone of the night, Ripper. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No longer of use. But enough about you. I'm talking about the whetstone. This place is incredible. Aye, but no seals to destroy or bells to ring. These are different. There's a brazier to the left of the chest. Maybe you can light it? <laughs> you might be able to get up there if you help me. for a better look. Father, there's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Atreus. That 
That was close. Try again. I hope you can make that jump. Another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarf got a stuff like that. Aye. Might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get the wet stuff to do it for you? Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? Ah! 